a wrap, a turkey BLT, which is not anything fancy, but it is definitely going to be delicious because it's going to have bacon in it and avocado and pills and tomatoes and all the normal things it normally has, but it's just going to be delicious. And then the second thing is we're going to have smoothies, which since I did it that one time last week, I'm just over the moon excited about that, that that works. Um, and that's it. And I love it because it's simple. It's just two things. It's loaded with veggies and fruit, which makes me feel good. And then I feel like I'm sending them to like a little cute sandwich shop for lunch. And that's that. Let's get started. So if you haven't noticed yet, I'm not a professional and I messed up. So I'm showing you that. Um, I'm re-putting back on the lettuce. What happened was I put mayo on the very bottom and then I should have put the cheese, but I kind of did it out of order. So mayo on the bottom, cheese on top of that, and then the lettuce. And the way, the reason why I like to do it is because that way is because it kind of seals all the wet ingredients on the inside. So on the bottom, I like to put my cheese and on the top I like to put my lunch meat and then all of the wet things I like to put on the inside so I have my lettuce and then here I'm putting tomatoes but I should tell you that I did cut these tomatoes and remove the seeds because I have an 11 year old who will just her day will be ruined if her tortilla is soggy so I do try to prevent that to the best of my abilities Although I am not always um, successful, I do try my hardest. <laughs> you know, I'm going through all this trouble. I want it to be good and not soggy. So now I'm just adding um, some avocado that I have also sliced on there. Um, sometimes if you can see the avocado, I'll put it in like a lemon juice water mixture so that the avocado doesn't brown. But in this, I don't care at all because it's all gonna be wrapped up into a lovely pocket of tortilla and you're not gonna be able to see it if it starts to oxidize. And next to last, we're adding our sliced pickles underneath the lunch meat, remember, so things don't get soggy. And now um, <laughs> I'm adding the turkey. Here I am right before I show you, or at least right before I realize I made a mistake. Um, I'm like, oh no, I forgot to add the dressing because the dressing is wet. So because the dressing is wet, it has to go below the, the um, turkey or else the tortilla could get soggy. So that's what I'm doing. My bad. All right, now I've re-put the turkey back on and now I can finally add my very last ingredient, which is the very yummy bacon. And now, just so you guys can see how I wrap them up, fold the ends and then roll it, roll it, roll it. And then um, I'm just sealing it all up with some handy dandy saran wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you wanna call it. So there you go. I'm just uh, finishing up everybody else's because even the people who are at home, I still feed them because then my kitchen stays cleaner that way. Um, so now we are off to make the delicious orange vanilla smoothie. So I can try and give you uh, measurements, but I don't know if I remember for sure, but I'm making, remember I'm making enough for six people. So uh, I think that was three cups of orange juice. And now I'm adding one and a half cups of just plain yogurt. There's no sugar added. I'm gonna sweeten it with, um, oops, <laughs> agave syrup so that um, I can sweeten it to my liking. So uh, you could definitely use already vanilla yogurt and it would be totally fine. Okay, now I'm gonna add the sweetener. I chose agave syrup because it's pretty sweet. You don't have to add that much. I'm adding about three tablespoons of agave syrup. You might not even need the sugar in there because the orange juice and the banana do make it sweet. I just like my stuff pretty sweet. And um, here I'm adding three cups of ice um, just so that it, I make sure it's really good and frosty um, so that it stays cold. And now I'm gonna add the banana. I really think it's important that the banana is frozen. It doesn't have to be frozen, but it adds an extra thickness 
and um, it really does make it like nice and thick and it is going to stay frozen until you eat it or drink it, slurp it, scoop it at lunchtime. Okay, nothing left to do but to blend, 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 and that's it. So easy. Well, maybe I might wanna taste it a little. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, now I'm just gonna pour it into each individual thermos, slowly, a little at a time to make sure that everybody gets equal amounts. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna hurry up and put these tops on because I want it to stay super frosty and not melt one drop. So there's one right there and then hand the other one to the other kid and they're off. It really was so easy and so delicious and so pretty. Look at that California BLT and that orange vanilla smoothie. Well, I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.